Gentlemen, I appreciate you joining me for this update. Thank you. Turning to you, John, uh, can you update us on the progress with your new strategic plan? Well, Simon, it's only a month ago that we announced the strategic plan. Uh, and therefore, we've had one month's progress uh, since then. And, and some things have happened. We've reduced our exposure to Italian bonds. We've reduced our exposure to Delta Lloyd. We've sold uh, the stake down to below 20%. So we've done some things. We've appointed uh, investment banking advisors for all the businesses we wish to dispose, and they're making progress with that. But I think, you know, for progress, we need to think a bit longer than one month. Uh, we need to look at our calendars, you know, not our watches on this. Uh, and so things will happen in the second half of this year, and, and other things will happen next year. Uh, but essentially, it's all on track for what we announced. Um, now, Pat, today you've announced that Aviva's operating profits are lower at £935 million. Pounds. What's behind that? Overall, the operating profits are pretty much in line with expectations. The headline level, they're down 2%. Uh, and after restructuring costs, the cost of implementing the strategic plan we announced a month ago, they're down about 10% at £935 million. The life results are down slightly and the general insurance results are up. On the life side, uh, it's partly the impact of foreign exchange and partly, as you would expect, um, slightly down in the Eurozone countries. Our UK business is um, still, still strong with good operating capital generation. On the general insurance results, um, good results, notwithstanding the impact of selling the RAC, up 14% overall, with very good results in both the UK and Canada. Now, you've also announced a loss after tax today, so can you explain what's behind that? Yes, we uh, considered it necessary at the half year to, uh, to write down the value of the US goodwill of about £800 million, and that led to the loss after tax. I understand that operating capital generation is also higher, so what's, what's involved in that? Yes, so operating capital generation is about £100 million higher, at £900 million at the half year. The generated off the life back books and off the general insurance remains resilient and we've used less capital in, in writing new business. We've got a real focus on capital allocation. Turning to you, John, what about the progress you're making with cost savings? Well, the main cost savings uh, we announced were a de-layering program where essentially we were moving from nine management levels between the CEO and the lowest level employee down to five. And we've made the announcements right down to the, the fifth level. And so that's bang on track and uh, that'll be completed very soon. Turning back to you, Pat, what have you said today about Aviva's capital position? So as, as we talked about on July the 5th, capital is one of our key areas of focus. The capital levels are higher than they were at the year end. Our economic capital position, including the impact of selling down Delta Lloyd, is 4.7 billion pound surplus, or about 142% in percentage terms. And the increase from the year end is about half driven by better market conditions and about half actions we've taken ourselves. John, what have you decided to do about the interim uh, dividend? Well, we said at the outset that um, the dividend is very important to our existing shareholders and that we'd like to hold it, and that's exactly what we've done. Uh, notwithstanding, uh, we've made a loss by writing the goodwill down, we've nevertheless held the dividend as, as we expected to. And looking to the next six months, what's your view on the outlook? Well, the, the, we think the second half will be broadly, in an underlying sense, similar to the first half. Uh, of course, there are uh, difficult markets that we're operating in. You know, there's uncertainties about the Eurozone, etc. But all our things being equal, we, we think it's broadly similar. Um, as you know, we're working through an 18-month time frame uh, to rebase the company. Uh, and that means that by the end of that period, we'll be in the businesses that we want to be in. We'll have disposed of the businesses that we believe are non-core. Uh, we'll have reduced uh, uh, the costs. As we said, we reduced by £400 million. Um, uh, the company will be a little smaller uh, by then, but the, the, change, the operating performance improvement will have recovered some of that. And so net-net, uh, we're working towards 2014 where the company will be in effectively a normal position. John, Pat, always good to hear directly from you. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Thank you.